What's up fam, this your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. So it's been over 24 hours since Young Dolph affiliate Grove Hero smacked the hell out of CMG Lil Migo at an airport. And ever since that incident happened, many people have been speculating, asking one question. Why did it happen? Did these two guys have prior beef? What would make a man walk up to another man at an airport and just smack the hell out of him? And I simply made a video telling you guys why. I said it was get back for the Young Dolph murder. And everybody scoffed at the idea. Everybody said, cut, chill out. You don't know why it happened. Stop being messy. Stop speculating about street stuff. Stay out of it. And it comes to find out I was right. Because Grove Hero went on an Instagram rant. And he basically said, Big Jook put a hit out on Young Dolph for $40,000. And CMG is responsible for Young Dolph death. And I have the video. So I'm going to play it for you guys. But first, I want to talk about this whole incident at the airport. Some very interesting things happened in that video clip. In case you guys didn't know, Grove Hero is disabled. He has a little ass hand. He has one regular hand and his other hand is little as hell. So picture somebody with one regular size hand. And then somebody with like the hand of a six year old. Saying, I think that's the hand he smacked Lil Migo with. And y'all been making jokes about it. Y'all been laughing. Y'all been saying how little Migo gets smacked by a little hand. But that little hand got some strength in it. See, I don't feel the same way y'all feel about it. I feel like the little hand did what it was supposed to do. Because if you look at the hand, it's small, but it's meaty. Look, pay attention to his little hand. Only his fingers are small, but the center of the hand is very meaty and thick. That's a thick-ass little hand. So I think it got that strength. Y'all looking at it like that's his weak hand. I think it's his strong hand. And that's why he smacked Lil Migo with it. And more importantly, Lil Migo did a whole 360. You'll swear he was doing ballerina the way he twirled. Dazed, confused. And I'm going to say another interesting thing I seen in the video. When Lil Migo got smacked, his phone flew out and he began taking off his backpack. And everybody look at that and say, see, Lil Migo was ready. He was ready to throw them hands. You see him taking off that backpack. I don't feel that way. I think he did that just to buy time. We ought to use that trick. Somebody hit you. You start taking off your backpack. You start taking off your jacket. You start saying things like, wait till I tie my shoe. I'm going to get you when I tie my shoe. But you don't really want smoke. You just want to buy time hoping somebody break it up. And I think that's what Lil Migo did. It was an altercation in the airport. He got smacked. Phone hit the ground. And the moment that happened... Your instinct should have kicked in and say, I need to get on his ass. I need to defend myself. Not taking off your backpack, unzipping your jacket, taking off your head wrap. None of that. That is just to buy time. So I don't think Lil Migo wanted smoke. Grove Hero wanted it. Because anytime you disabled with a little ass hand and you roll up on somebody talking about what you're going to do to them, you better be ready. Instead, Lil Migo pulled out his phone and he started recording. So I don't think Lil Migo really wanted to defend himself because after the incident, he ran straight to the internet. He's knocked my phone out my hand. That's even disrespectful. Let's say Grove Hero didn't smack him. He just knocked his phone out of his hand. Them iPhones cost about $1,200. So now he's damaging your property. And in America, you got the right to defend your property. So you ain't even do that. So either way it go, he punked you out. Now let's talk about this video about Grove Hero. He went on Instagram, riding the high of the internet, a little cloud chasing. I admit that anytime something go viral, people seem to want to jump on Instagram and talk about it. So he was talking about it. He went on a rant, lost control. And he said some very interesting things. And I'm going to play that video for you guys right now. Let's go. This shit down to put tears in my eyes, bro. When I heard that, that, that little boy Trey Trey say, man, I miss my dad, mom. When I heard that, that fucked me up, bro. That shit fucked me up. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Chuk, if I see Gotti, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see Migo, if I see Youngster, I'm gonna get on that. This shit ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said, if I see them folk, because these folk got some, had something to do with it, bro. These folk, nigga don't know that Chuk put a hit out, bro. Nigga don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying? But we, nah, fuck all that, bro. I you see the moment he said, Big Juke, which is Yo Gotti brother, put the hit out. People in the background was like, hey, bro, don't say that. Don't say that. Why not? Everybody want to know why he flipped out. And he's telling everybody, 
I did what I did to defend Dolph name because I think these are the guys responsible for the young Dolph hit. Now I have a question for a Grove hero. If you feel that way, you feel like you want to go around putting your little hand on people, you want to run up on people in the airport, you want to defend Dolph name, I have one question. Did you go to the police? Because you're saying this is get back from young Dolph, they took your CEO out, they hit him outside of a cookie shop, and you mean to tell me your get back is to run up on somebody at the airport and smack them with the little hand. That's not an even exchange. That's not fair. The punishment doesn't even fit the crime. Grove Hero, if you think CMG is allegedly behind the Young Dolph hit, they took out your CEO, messed up all type of money for you, and you mean to tell me the only thing they get in return is a smack from the little hand? Where they do that at? Grove Hero, let me give you some advice. If you think CMG is behind the Young Dolph hit, and if you're not going to get any real street justice for them, that little smack at the airport, that's not street justice, that's life. So we ain't counting that. If you're not going to do anything about it, then my advice to you is, Call the police. Call the Memphis hotline. Give them that tip. Say you got some information regarding the Young Dolph case. And you give them all the evidence you have so they can get these hot guys behind bars. That's the type of justice you want. But a smack in the airport, that ain't no get back. So we all need to stop saying that. Everybody been saying Grove Hero is a hero. He got that get back from Young Dolph. Grove Hero is sliding from Young Dolph. No, that's not sliding at all. Pulling out your cell phone. Running up on somebody at the airport, telling them what you what you gonna do to them and not do it, that's not get back. So let's stop saying that. But anyway, let's react to some more of this video. Need to say that niggas ain't gonna say that. Nigga ain't gonna nigga ain't gonna tell the truth, but nigga ain't nigga ain't say, man, hey bro, how you gonna feel if a nigga told you, hey man, look, bro, man, you put a forty thousand dollar hit on you, bro. Like you, you nigga, man, come on, bro, I'm standing on there. I ain't no, I ain't, oh, bro, I'm not no shake ass nigga, bro. I ain't no nigga finna tell me a nigga put forty thousand dollars on my head and I'm finna do this, bro. Anybody that associate with you and this ain't got nothing to do with them other folks, bro. Cause they ain't in no in no in no in, in none of this shit like Big Boog and Ali. I, I like Big Boog. I fuck with him. I ain't throwing him in no. Wait a minute. You can't rage war against the whole CMG and say, hey, Big Boogie, I ain't got no issue with him. That's my homie. I like his music. This ain't got nothing to do with him. No, stand on it. Because the streets work like that. If you're running up on Lil Migo smacking him, you saying you're going to get your Gotti when you see him. you saying you're going to get Black Youngster when you see him. Then it's the whole CMG. You can't pick and choose who you're going to go after. Because I guarantee if Big Boogie see you in public, it ain't going to be nothing nice. He ain't going to be like, oh, yeah, he just hit Lil Migo. I'm going to let him slide. So you got to be ready for all that. You just can't pick and choose and think people going to understand your struggle. Think people going to understand your plight. Because I'm here to tell you, this rant you went on, I get your emotional. I get you just letting off steam, but you're going about it the wrong way. You're putting everything on the internet. you implicating everybody on the internet. Some things is better left unsaid, and some things is better left done off the internet. I don't mind you getting get back from young dog. I, I wish it wasn't in a violent way, but I don't mind it. But if you're going to do it, why are you foreshadowing it on the internet? So if something happened to Yo Gotti, something happened to Big Jook, something happened to Black Youngster, who you think we gonna blame? Who you think I'm gonna make a video about saying might have had something to do with it? Black Youngster end up hurt. You damn right I'm gonna make a video. Maybe Grove Hero did it. He was putting out threats months ago. He said what he was gonna do. So you gotta think smart. See, Black Youngster's smart. His name was in all type of mess. What he do? Shut the hell up. He don't even make a post on Instagram no more because he know the streets is hot and he know everybody is watching his every move. Grove Hero, you need to do the same. Cause when the Rico start coming out, these indictments start coming out, your name gonna be in it. And I don't wanna hear I'm just a funny guy, I'm just a comedian. Cause one minute you wanna be a comedian, then the next minute you wanna say I'm from the hood, I'm from the streets, pick one. Cause ain't nobody gonna understand that. That's all I'm saying. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys the reason why Grove Hero feel that way. The reason why he feel Big Jug, Yo Gotti, CMG is behind the Young Dolph pit. It's no secret. I feel the same way. It's because everybody that has been arrested for the Young Dolph hit is, has ties to Yo Gotti and his brother Big Jug. They all in pictures with him. They all gambling with him. They shooting dice with him. They at birthday parties. And I find that very odd. That ain't no coincidence. In the streets, that's called evidence. If I have beef with somebody, 
they end up dead. Then everybody arrested for the crime end up having ties to me. What the streets gonna say? Hey, yo, Cut has something to do with that. Cut got that nigga taken out, man. Cut wow for that. So y'all know that's how the streets work. Y'all know that's how public opinion work. Ain't no such thing as coincidence. Ain't no such thing as I think. The streets gonna go off emotion. The streets don't dissect, hey, this could be true. This could not. They try to get more evidence. The streets say, I feel this way. Let's act on it. And then it'll make no better black youngster was at the cemetery with Young Dolph last name on a tombstone, smoking in the tombstone, rapping around. It's just very disrespectful. But after that happened, he kept it on the low. I guess Yo Gotti got in his ear. Big Jill probably said, hey, nigga, what you doing, man? You making a block too hot. We done dropped that bag on Young Dolph. We got to lay low. And I think Young Black Youngster got messy.